Hello and welcome to The Wedding School. Today we have Kate Robinson. She is one of our favourite photographers. We love her aesthetic. It's really bright, vibrant, natural looking. But today I thought we would just get in the nitty gritty about photos because let's face it, your photography is a pretty big investment and your photos will last an absolute lifetime. So it's important to get not only the choice of photographer right, but also maximize your photographer so you can get the shots that you really want. Yeah, so I find a lot of my couples are very hesitant about getting their photo taken and they're sort of afraid of being too posy and um, they really want their shots to look beautiful and natural. Um, but what I say to them is that, you know, it's not about posing, it's more like I'm gonna direct you with your photos and uh, make you sort of do things that you naturally would anyway like walk together and that kind of thing and I try and keep it really light-hearted and for me it's not about a drawn-out photo shoot the wedding day it's not about that and I try and keep it really quick as possible um, the photo session and it's about capturing those moments for me it's not about um, a fashion photo shoot yeah. so yeah well, something our couples, that I've been suggesting to our couples actually, is to do a first look um, shot, which means that um, they're meeting before the wedding ceremony, you know, it's a staged um, first look where the photographer always coordinates it, it's very intimate, personal, and it's that first time that, you know, you'll see each other, um, you know, in your wedding attire um, before you say I do. And I feel like that's really important because during the day, you actually don't spend much time with your, you know, your husband or your wife. So, but I want to know, like, what are your thoughts from a photographer? Do you love the first look? Yeah, absolutely. I love first looks, um, and yeah, I always uh, present them as an option to my couples. Um, and yeah, as you said, it's really good for uh, spending some quality time together before the ceremony. I find with my grooms especially, they really relax. Uh, and then you can have a really um, great ceremony and you don't have to be a bundle of nerves because you've seen each other. You've um, talked about what you're going to be doing and how it's really exciting and yeah. spend that like precious yeah. time together because it's crazy. You don't spend that much time just the two of you pretty much all day yeah. so um, I, I love first looks and if you can do one definitely um, yeah go for it like um, and thirdly I, I I've got a bit of feedback from other photographers that saying that they love our run sheets so then yes. I thought well if you don't have a wedding planner you know how important is it to, to create a run sheet mm -hmm. um, because I know if you don't time can just you know fly away literally mm -hmm. um, and then that can really just set you up for you know a you know, really bad day so yeah. what are yeah. your thoughts on that? Yeah it's really important to have a good timeline and I always go um, go through the day with my couples if they don't have a planner um, to really think about like where can we buffer a bit of time as well because um, sometimes hair and makeup can take a little bit in the morning and you don't want to be stressed about that um, and yeah it's a really good idea of um, having the times of where you need to be in certain times it's really important so yeah yeah excellent yeah cool. well thank you so much for joining us today um, I hope you've learned lots of tips and tricks on your photography and um, we'll see you soon